In this module we will look at electromagnetic radiation, the electromagnetic spectrum, electromagnetic wave structure, energy relationship, the calculations associated with energy relationship, diffraction of a wave, refraction of a wave, and atomic spectrum. Electromagnetic radiation, or light, is a form of energy that travels through the electromagnetic field. It travels as a wave or a photon. It doesn't need a physical medium to propagate through, so it can travel through the vacuum of space. Shorter wavelengths have higher energy. The electromagnetic spectrum can be broken down into various different types of radiation, starting with radio waves, which have the longest wavelength, all the way down to gamma rays, which have the shortest wavelength. Somewhere around the middle, we have visible light, which we can see. As we can see, as the wavelength decreases, the frequency of the wave increases. If we break up the structure of an electromagnetic field, we see that it has an electric field and a magnetic field, which exist perpendicularly to one another. Both fields travel in the same direction and are made up of crests and troughs. Crests are the highest point above the line and troughs are the lowest point below the line. The wavelength is the distance between two crests or two troughs. Both fields oscillate perpendicularly to one another. This means that crests become troughs and vice versa. Thanks to Einstein, we can measure the energy of a photon using the following equation, where H is Planck's constant, F is the frequency of electromagnetic radiation, C is the speed of light in a vacuum, and lambda is the wavelength. Energy is directly proportional to frequency, and inversely proportional to wavelength, and is measured in joules. What is the energy of a photon of electromagnetic radiation at A, 400 nanometers, and B, 700 nanometers? So we can use Einstein's equation, and rearrange it to find out E equals HC over lambda. For 400 nanometers, put in our values, we find that E equals 4.97 by 10 to the power of minus 19 joules. For 700 nanometers, put in our values, we find that E equals 2.84 by 10 to the power of minus 19 joules. Calculate the wavelength of a photon of light that has a frequency of 150 megahertz. So if we rearrange our equation, we find that lambda equals C over F. And if we put in our values, we find that lambda equals 2 meters. The fraction of a wave is where light bends as it passes around the edge of an object. It can create interference patterns which can either amplify or cancel out. If the crest and troughs align, they will amplify. If they oppose, they will cancel out. Refraction of a wave is where light bends as a result of passing through a new medium. For example, if light is travelling through air and it hits water, it's going to bend. This causes monochromatic or white light to disperse, separating it into its individual colours. This is why we see a rainbow after rain. It makes objects appear to be in a different position. Atoms in the ground state can absorb light at specific energies. This causes their electrons to jump to a higher excited state. When they're excited, they'll eventually return to the ground state and release light energy. These specific energies mark the atom's fingerprint. Each element has its own unique atomic spectrum, and this allows us to identify them.